Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We are jumping in again. Let's boot up the randomizer and randomizer character. See what we get. We get Judas. It says to the beast. I'm not particularly going to listen to the objective of where it tells us to go because as you can see, sometimes we might already have said objective done. Uh, we have mother to go for as Judas. I do not mind that at all. Uh, and of course, some characters um, are going to be getting near to completion soon, as we can clearly see by Judas here. Uh, for those of you wondering, if I fully complete a character's completion marks, I am still going to play them from time to time. Because I don't want to get into a situation where I beat a character um, and then don't get to play them for literally months on end. Oh my god, a golden penny in the first room, how generous. Yeah, I don't really want to get into that situation because some modded characters might get um, completed first. Some vanilla characters that are fun, like Judas, might get completed first. So we are still going to play them if they come upon the randomizer. Uh, 13 coins, that's really not too bad at all. Really not too bad at all. Um, really, I have bungled this hard. Thank god I managed to dodge around that there. Cause, yeah, I did not do a, a great job of that. Uh. That enemy always scares the hell out of me. Okay, good. We'll try and find our shop here, because that should be pretty good. As for the question... Oh, no, no. Um, God damn, hate this room. As for the question of the day, I don't really have one in mind right now. Uh, let's let's have a little think, shall we? Um, hmm. Hmm. What's a profession you really admire? What's something that you maybe wouldn't do yourself, but you really admire? And there's quite a lot of those where it's it's one of those things where it's like, it's not always, it's not always. There's, there's some of them where it's like, it's it's not a great job, but someone's got to do it. But um, the, the, there is just a lot, of, a lot of jobs like that. I mean, definitely I, um, I just learned a lot of respect for um, people that are working in, um, you know, we'll save our charge here. Do not like the idea of this room right here. Um, I definitely lent a lot of respect for people that work just in shops, especially like stacking shelves and on the uh, on the till. Because I did that job for like a year and a bit, and goddamn, like I I worked at a pretty friendly shop that was fairly local, so it was all like the same people most days. But it can be rough. Like some people can be really not nice people. It seems that America gets a lot like worse than the UK does in that regard. Uh, in terms of, like, staff being treated poorly. Like I said, it didn't really happen to me all that much. Um, I did get up to 15 cent here, which is really nice. Placebo pill? Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a gamble here. And take placebo pill plus whatever this pill is. And just see if it's anything good. Wrong. It's not. I took a gamble. It was a bit of a risk. I was hoping maybe I could get something good. I could, of course, stick with a uh, placebo pill. But this is probably better. Upon you three rolls, the current item being picked up into a random passive does nothing if you are not uh, picking up an item. If drop if drops to pick up another active can be used while you are picking up the active. What? If drops to pick up another active. Okay, so I can go like this. And I got triple shot. Nice. Okay, pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that. Um, and yeah, I'd like to re-roll placebo as well, but I doubt we're going to get the charge for that. I like it though. Re-roll into random stuff. Very upset about my current HP situation here. It's not great. Um, could easily die. Even on this room. Great. <laughs> I hate that room so much. It just, it's one of those things where my brain just can't really comprehend how to do it correctly. And I always get hit somehow. But anyways, guess we're restarting on that one. The golden penny is not for us. We have the anal beads in here. Don't really like to see them, but it is what it is. Okay, we got 15 cent anyways. That might be the best pot that has ever been broken. Ever. Like, holy damn, we just got 15 cent anyway. So, that golden penny didn't really even matter that much. We got less money out of that than we did out of a single pot. Kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. See what we can do here. But yeah, gotta love Judas for the, uh, the, the starting damage. It's very, very nice. Although, I never really sort of comprehended the fact that Judas' starting damage is only marginally higher than Kane's. Really? You guys do that? Okay. I'm going to have to be very careful here because I didn't realise that that fart that they did was uh, so vivacious. I didn't realise it had such range to it. 
and that scares me. Okay, back down to half a heart once again. Um, not a great item here, but we will take the broken disc um, and just use it. Oh my lord, it's rotten baby time. Hell yes, it's rotten baby time. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Not happy about having to wait for this, though. It's very annoying. But yeah, I feel like a lot of people that have never worked in, like, like just a general shop or store or whatever don't really have as much respect for the job as it probably deserves. Especially people that, like, worked during, um, in lockdown. Like, they were not only having to still work when everyone else got time off, but they were having to do a pretty shitty job for a bunch of people that, for the most part, weren't willing to bloody wear masks. So, it's kind of like, come on now. <laughs> These people did some real good work, and yeah, some people just didn't respect it as, enough, as much as they should. Hey, we got Red Chain. I do like Red Chain quite a lot. Really a single bomb for that? Damn. Crack you open as well. I'm wasting my time with my uh, my rotten buddies here, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm going whole hog on this guy. I want I want him dead so soon, and my my rotten babies with the flies will do insane damage right now. So we got to kill the first phase really easily. I could still super easily die to the second phase here because this boss is kind of a nightmare for me. I'm not very good at him, uh, but I'm hoping. Yeah, there you go. We can just take him out pretty quickly. We unfortunately get our corn here, which I'm not happy about. The corn is bad. But we have our... Um, we're going to be doing mother here, so we've got to go this way. Um, we've got our red chain thing, which I think is really fun. It's just a very, very good um, item that can potentially be pretty good. Also, the fact that it gives you three keys off the bat is nice. And I will definitely take Mysterious Liquid here. I really like Mysterious Liquid as an item. Um, it's very, very fun. It can be very, very useful. Now we've just got to be cautious of our current HP. Um, unfortunately, this isn't a room that really works for us. Um, this is an interesting idea for a room here. Um, certainly a little tricky. I'm hoping Robo Baby does some stuff to help us out here. Nice. We managed to get one filling in that guy. I, I'm just hoping for a single black heart. Come on. Uh, we've got Tithe or what Teeth, whatever you want to call it. Not particularly something I'm going to take. I'll bomb you as well. Ah, damn, getting unlucky with us. Collectibles into random pickups. Basically, Tainted Cane esque shenanigans going on there. I will crack that open. So, we're just hoping to get teleported to, uh, to the ultra secret room with this, but we'll see what happens. A, hey, bravery. Damage against bosses and champions, um, and champion enemies. Okay, this got a bit of a rework. It used to be 1.3 times damage just against bosses, but 1.5 against bosses and champions, that's really, really nice. Of course, with this item, you are going to need a lot of keys to um, make it valuable. It is one of those items that kind of requires sort of a significant barrier to entry. Um, so we'll just see and hope that we get the keys to make it uh, as valuable as it can be. Good thing is it can sort of teleport us around. Um, I'm excited. It's not great for us here. Be very, very careful when these guys jump. Gotcha. See, there's a key, but it's unfortunately reflected, which doesn't bode well for us. I don't know what this does. Oh, look at this. So cute. And then you, you fire two shots at me and a few shots in the air, right? Yeah, two shots at me and a few in the air. Another reflected item. Wow, okay. Getting a little unlucky with that. Let's go straight for the boss. Um, don't want to use my bombs yet. Really unfortunate hit there. I was really not expecting him to come from that direction. The good thing is, we are set up to do really good damage to this guy because we've got um thingy here. I'm excited. It's not very helpful here. Not a big fan of that. Half decent chance we die here. Oh, God. That was scary. It was very scary. Luckily, we had that bonus damage against bosses. And yeah, um, what's it called? Uh, Mysterious Liquid. That's in my reflection earlier. I meant Mysterious Liquid. Mysterious Liquid doing good stuff for us there. Yeah, the fact that it affects champions now as well. Bravery is real nice. Um, 
New enemies there. Slap a key in this bad boy. Unfortunately, it was just a red room off of the red room we already used. Can happen, but it's extra room rewards potentially. Oh my god, such a bad hit. Oof, my goof. We don't have any spare red hearts around, do we? I'd very much like to take this, but it's such a risk. Let's uh, let's get going down to the next floor. We've got to keep our bombs. Okay, good. We've got boiler this floor as well, which is a little bit scary because I don't know boiler very well. Also, we got Curse of the Bishop, which I do not know what that is. Curse of the Bishop is unknown to me. Uh, in fact, let's go and do a little check on what Curse of the Bishop actually is, because I do have the, them listed. Uh, Curse of the Bishop. 16% chance... Um, okay, basically enemies have a chance to negate damage. They'll flash blue if they do. Good to know. I will take this in the chance that we get a HPO. We didn't. We got two luck upgrades and a damage up. The damage up is nice. I'm a little scared here because these are bosses that I'm unfamiliar with and I'm dead. Okay. Okay. Things aren't going so hot right now. Things aren't going so hot. I probably shouldn't have rushed to uh, take that. I was really just gambling on getting a HP up there. It's just my bad for uh, losing that half half heart so easily. Uh, we've also got another curse here. I'm unsure as to why the curses are showing up in like the wrong places here. Just kill me again, please. I just just want to die just to punish myself. The curses are showing up all the way in the top left rather than the underneath the map, which is strange. Like a little icon is what I mean for the, for the curse. This has been a real thrilling episode thus far. Really just top quality play by me. Gotta deal with these shysters. Them and their spectral shots. Don't think we're going to get quite as lucky as our last few runs to start out here, but we'll, we'll, we'll try. It's a very bad start to a room here. These enemies are real annoying. Luckily, we can take them out pretty easily. I miss bravery already. Oh, that's a lot of bombs. Lovely. That's a lot of bombs. Stop this guy from slapping me. Slightly annoying room here, but we can deal with it. Come on, you. Die. There you go. Come on, please. Please. Ugh. Not great. Don't steal my charge. Don't steal my charge. Don't steal my charge. Not great. Um, What the hell is Mongo Cells? Is this a new transformation? Leaves a trail of blood. Oh, wait. Mongo Cells. What the hell's that from? Does that mean that Mongo Baby will, um, will adopt that effect? Or is that just... Is Mongo sells a new item added by one of the mods that I currently have? I'm unsure. Strange room. I'm unsure, but I like the idea. I really always thought that Mongo Baby was super underwhelming. I could take that. That would be a, a hell of a gamble. But I could take it. No soul heart in here, though. I was hoping maybe I could take it if there's a soul heart in there, but sadly not. Try and play the creep if we can. It seems to just avoid the creep entirely there. Great. Could also die to this guy. Honestly, I'm not feeling uber confident in my Isaac abilities today. I don't know what it is about this morning, but things have gone awry. Things have gone awry. Not quite the way that I would have hoped. I'm very sad to have lost Red Chain. That is a, a fun item, but it's kind of the way that it goes with Judas. We got Boiler again here. It's the way that it goes with Judas. You've kind of got to accept that early deaths are somewhat likely. Can't shoot these things out the air. These enemies are really cool, like Foghorn guys. I very much like that. Yeah, we'll see what we can do with uh, with the Headless Baby, but Headless Baby isn't great. Okay, so you just gotta be ready for when these guys run. Oof. Pretty aggressive. Not so bad. Oh my god, four bucket boys. Again, try and use the creep to do good damage here. That actually worked immensely well. Early game, the creep does quite a lot, actually, from Headless Baby. Headless Baby's one of those ones that's like, eh. It's, it is what it is, but then if you get it, like, super early on, it can be very valuable. 
Really? It tossed all the coins over the spikes? Is that... How, what, what the... F what the hell hit me? This is going so poorly. What the hell hit me then? <laughs> did, did the shot, like, leave some creep and the creep extended out and hit me? I think, maybe? I don't know. This is, like, a shocking display of the Turtle Melon skill level right now. You come to the Turtle Melon challenge, 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 channel, and this is the quality content that you're in store for. The absolute primo quality content that you are inbound to see, because, I don't know, apparently... Even though Judas is a really powerful character, having some really hard times. Then again, Boilers are kind of a hard floor. We've had two deaths on Boiler so far. I wouldn't even say it's that hard. It's more than just that I don't know the bosses and don't know the enemies very well. So it's 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 all a learning experience and sort of getting used to it. Good. But it's taking a bit of time to get there. Bozo. It gives us plus one soul heart. We're in the money, baby. We are in the money. Plus one soul heart. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Holy hell. Random chance to fear and charm enemies as well. Great. What a, what a fantastic room there. But this, basically, Bozo is very, very fitting for how I've been playing thus far. Very much making me look like quite the clown. I completely agree with you, Isaac. You have given me a very fitting item to, to befit my title of Ultimate Clown Boy. Using a coin, bomb, or key on a slot um, and beg has a 17% chance to not subtract it from your inventory count. 17% seems very low, but seems like a decent item nonetheless. You know what? I'm going to pop a pop an active here. There's a lot going on. Probably should have revealed this guy first and charmed him, but oh well. Oh well. Yeah, random chance to charm and fear enemies with Burzo is rather nice. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Good. Good. Lots of bombs in the bag. Oh god. Don't like you guys. Would rather get you gone. It's nice that you've sort of parceled yourself into this little corner. Easy for me to kill. I respect that. Oh, god damn it. We're losing a soul heart here, aren't we? What the fuck hit me then? I'm getting so confused right now. God damn, this boss. Oh, was it the red fire that hit me? I think it was the red fire that hit me. That makes sense. Me being a goofball, not realizing. Get your shithead little children away from me. I ain't no daycare. I think it was the red fire that hit me. Bloody hell, this has been horrible. We've not even got enough to go downpour yet. God damn it. Need ourselves a key if we can find one. Where haven't we been? Come on, key. Where art thou? Where art thou, key? I don't think we have one this floor. I think we have to skip the first downpour level. It's probably better for our health, to be honest, but still, not ideal. Not the ideal. Right, away we go. Away we go. Feeling like an utter clown. Down we go. Ugh. Game sometimes, man. Be a bit brutal. Right, so now we need the key. Oh, bollocks. Two champions? No, thank you. Thank you, flies, for helping me out potentially here. Ooh, do we do we try again? We definitely do. The, the, the gamble, the risk, it's all worth it for fighting bosses like this. To be fair, this guy just got melted. I think that's because we've got Smooth Stone. Uh, smooth Stone makes us do a ton more damage to bosses with low HP. Um, and these bosses in these rooms. What the fuck? You're explosive, are you? Okay. I forgot about that 
pulled shebang. Also got an extra HP from that, so feeling a hell of a lot better now. Okay, also that mysterious liquid, not mysterious liquid, mysterious whatever it's called. I can't remember the fucking name of that injection, but it, it, it was good is what I'm trying to say. It was good. We got some good stuff out of it. We got a damage up. I think we got a fire rate up and a HP up. All of which very needed for us. Care of you fellas, even more bombs. Please give us another key so we can go to our item room. Come on, game, another key, please. Oh, that was such a bad hit by me. It's fine, it's fine. Still on one heart. A coin? Don't be like this to me, game. I know you're gonna do it. I know you're not gonna give me the key that I need. What does this two guy do again? Is it two shots? I think it's just two shots, isn't it? And the red one's three. Oh, God, don't do this, please. I mean, I, I suppose I could try and find secret room. That'd be a decent way forward. But still... Your headless jabronis. Oh, come on. Just... The clot is so fucking difficult on the early floors. My god. Even the baby clotties can be a little bit annoying for us. Another penny. Oh. Game's racism knows no bounds. I've already had a rough start today. Oh, come on now. Come on now. There's a key. I'm on low HP again, baby. This might be just a straight up tragic episode. This might just be a bunch of really early deaths and nothing much more. Um, Is this another Air Wars here? It is. So this room was made before um, before the change to AWOS's, where you can get into crawl spaces with them really easily, which I find quite funny. Um, I think this grass patch counts. It does. Okay. Good, I think. Oh yeah, cool. I'll just fire sideways. Cool. Right, and then we can take another Airwash rune and use it on one of these. Hopefully get a soul heart. Bombs. And take the other one to the next floor for another crawl space. But yeah, before you could get into crawl spaces with Airwash runes, that was actually the way that that worked. But uh, you should just rob the graves. But now, way more better ways to use those. Chasm. Okay. Uh, destroy all items in the room gives you a 10% chance to fire a 2.6 time. Okay, we'll definitely take this and we will suck that bad boy up to start with. Very, very nice. And that can scale pretty crazily. Let's just hope we live through this boss fight, shall we? Good damage off the bat. Actually, he's dead. Okay, nice. We didn't get a heart out of killing him? Why? Why? Okay, thank you. We got a heart there. Good. Okay. Not as big of a risk as I would have thought. But yeah, I love I love Chasm here. Chasm's a lot of fun. Um, I think this counts. Good, good. We get ourselves a golden bomb. How many bombs does it take to get through a wall here? Okay, just the one. This is worth it then. More money. And then this is definitely our, our first suck job. We'll suck up the monster candy. Well, I don't say our first, but our next suck job on Merman.
Let's keep her going. But yeah, we'll go down there and we'll, we'll suck that up once we have enough. Really, I was really hoping for a soul heart in this situation. Oh, god damn, the, the money. The money come rolling in for us. But this is the most promising run so far. What exactly do you do? Don't think I want to find out. Ooh, reverse card. Turns the player into the keeper, grants triple shot, killing enemies, drop random coins. Okay, this is pretty good. Uh, wait until we're in a room with a lot of enemies. This is probably a good room to actually do it. Be quick on our kills here. Good, good. Keep on moving. I'm not going to grab this yet. I want to grab as much money as I can first. While I've got this active. Come on now. Okay, this didn't work too super well, but I got a good amount of money from that room there. Even if I don't get much more, it's still valuable. A little bit more. There's a little bit more. A, yeah, we, we got a good amount there. That wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. Got up to 48 cent there. We can go to our shop once we get a key. If we get a key. Right, come in here. And suck. That's another 10% chance. Very much like that. This is definitely going to be more valuable than having uh, the, the book later down the line. As soon as we get to 10 items, it's a guarantee for 2.6 times damage shots. Which is insane. Damn, this game and its keys right now. It's really putting me through the ringer. God damn. Oh god, that was close. There we go, baby. There we go. I would like another one, though, because I want to go to my shop as well with the amount of money I have. So we'll do our due diligence. We've got to do our uh, mirror room as well here, remember. Uh, secret room here, potentially. That is a secret disc. I'm just going to pop the secret disc, see what we get. Secret disc. We got a lot is what we got. We did get Sackhead, which potentially could give us the keys we're looking for. If we get a few room clears and get some sacks. Oh, there's a key there. Beautiful. Oh, these guys. The little wind-up dudes. I really like these enemies. I think they're really cool. Um, I'm going to do the boss now while I still have items. And see if I can get anything good from it. Because we've got this herming and stuff. It duplicated the bomb when I threw the bomb through him. That's kind of cool. Don't want to go Devil Deal here. I will definitely suck that up. Okay. For you, t -fowl. Back we go. We got a good amount of keys there. I'm not going to open the golden chest though, unfortunately. Not quite enough to do that. We'll go in here first. That's very, very good. More options, especially before we even go into the uh, item room. I like that a lot. We'll buy another key. In fact, I might open the golden chest now, being able to buy a key. Might be worthwhile. Um, and then we've got Brownie, um, not good. I've had problems with that before. I guess we'll just take Hurst Hat here, um, just because Hurst Hat's pretty darn good. Free trial is over. Right, I will open this up now. Hey, that was incredibly, incredibly worth our time. Uh, let's do our White Fire now. With Golden Bombs, I am probably going to do the boss again, I think. Because I think that the chances are that we should be able to kill the boss pretty easily. I know it's a risk and it could end this run. That's actually pretty juicy, but I'm going to try it nonetheless. But yeah, we're easy path to our item room here. Just be careful for the Hippity Hoppers. The Hippity Hoppers are our biggest threat right now. Good. We got ourselves joy pills. I don't really think I want to mess with them. Come in here. We grab that bad boy. Thank you. Now let's make our way over towards our boss. We've got a lot of rooms to get there, which does mean we can charge our active, which is nice. It's a little scary, though, is the only thing, because some enemies are a little bit saucy, like this guy. Don't much like you. 
I don't know if this creep that my uh, that my side shots create does any damage. What's going on here again? Okay, it's pot boys, pulleys. Got more money there. And a leech. Thank you very much. We can open this up for free. And then keep on heading. You're a slightly naughty and annoying enemy. We got a chasm charged up. Is this the enemy with the pot boys or was that the last run? I can't remember. No, it's not. With the, 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 the bucket heads, or what you want to call them. Good, good. Nice and easy time with this one. And again, we've got golden bombs here, so I'm reasonably comfortable fighting this guy. There you go. You see what I mean? Nice and easy does it. And we get ourselves shot speed, slight tears up. Now nah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do that and suck her up. I think we're on 40% chance now, which is real damn good. And um, we'll go back through our mirror back again. To be fair, I could just leave the floor. But it is a bit risky. I'm not going to. Let me spawn the three joy pills. I forget what they do. Activates the joyful effect instantly using three joy pills within 10 second period will apply the addicted pill effect to you until you have... I don't know what the joy effect is. I'm not going to mess with that. That's scary to me. Right, back we go. A little bit slow going. A little bit slow going here. Still a little worried on my HP. Don't have any protection for a, a, an angel deal on the next floor. And um, currently in a situation where we could die pretty easily to champions, but taking the risk, it's fine. Second secret room. Oh, it's one of my rooms. Hello, hello. Um, I forget how you do this room. I think you bomb this, and then it bombs that, and then you've got to catch it before it goes in there. Nice. Yeah. It's nice to see my rooms every now and again. Sad that getting double golden bombs doesn't do anything for us, but... Yeah, they're, they're very, very rare, and especially when you're playing Fiend Folio, they're even rarer. But it's, it, is, it is quite a rarity to see one of my secret rooms, but it's always nice when they come across. Righty her. Let's just try and be safe and cautious here. We've got really, really, really good damage now, just due to the um, the amount of items we've uh, absorbed. We've got a 40% chance to do 2.6 times damage with our tier. You can see the blue tiers are the ones that do the extra damage. So we've got really, really good damage. So we just gotta be cautious about our HP. Thank you for the extra key there. Oh my lord. Infestation 2 with this much damage. I mean, although it's not going to get absorbed, it's not going to take on my um, extra damage from my blue tiers, but this is still 12 damage a spider. And we're getting a spider from every kill. This is going to be pretty awesome. Infestation 2 is just an absolutely tippity top tier item, anyways, so. Nice to have it. Good shop here. Uh, potato peeler, no thank you. Bone saw, use near a beggar to instantly kill them. Low chance to drop a body part themed item. Um, interesting, but it's not super useful. Ooh, yes, I will take on this challenge for the potential soul heart. I didn't get a soul heart, of course. Oh, those clickety clacks got up real fast. There you go. Got a few of these jumpy boys. I love these enemies. Those little spinny, spinny turtle boys. These guys, not so much. They're like polities on crack. Good, good, good. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Secret room could definitely be here. Don't know what these enemies do. Okay, they just move around and shoot three shots at you. It's fine by me. Judgment. 
I'll pop down there. Do you know what? I'll probably play a judgment to be honest. Cause oh, soul heart, thank you. Just because um I've got such a high chance of getting HP from him and I so desperately need it right now. Oh, we got treasure map. Um actually, you know what? I'm gonna suck up treasure map. It's a good item. I like it, but it's 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 only quality of life. It doesn't really make the run any any much better, I wouldn't say. It's just quality of life of knowing where things are. I can just explore and find them myself and get an extra 10% chance to fire high damage shots. I feel like that's far more valuable. I even have so much damage that I can hit the head off of these guys, which is awesome. You do your little stern thing, my guy. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Hit the head right off of him. I love the fact that you can do that now. Such a good change to those enemies. If you have enough damage, you can just kill them outright. Should always be the case. We've not seen that item room yet, have we? I know we have. We, uh, we got Infestation 2, of course. Not bad, not bad. I suppose I could play this guy out a little bit as well. That takes us to the boss room. It also revealed the second secret room for us. The terrible second secret room, unfortunately. Don't really know what I'm looking for from you, I'll be honest. Chariot card. Mapping in the secret room. We've already been to the secret room, of course. I'll pay you down to 30 coins and see what we get after that. Not really doing too much for us right now. The sun card there. That will drop the sun card, right? Yeah. Do you know what? That's pretty worthwhile. I'll take that. Sun card is pretty good for mapping. Got this guy. Damn it. Bad hit. Imagine if we had bravery on this run as well. God damn. That'd be a lot of damage. Luckily, take that guy out very, very easily. We, we got a good item here, and we get ourselves Job's family, which is great. And then we can destroy this statue in order to um, get the uh, angel key and uh, suck it up for that chasm. Yeah. And then we can suck that up. I think we're on seven items sucked up so far. It's either six or seven. I think we're on seven. We'll know when every single shot is blue and we're done. We're getting there. One second. Right. We keep on pushing. I'm going to use a sun card right here. Kill these enemies and give us the mapping. Got a bit too close to that bomb, to be honest. Um, do you know what? I never play these guys. Skeleton key? I did not know you could give skeleton key. Why, thank you, good sir. <laughs> not what I was expecting to get out of that, but honestly, 99 keys. Good stuff. I don't think we would have particularly needed it, but I'm certainly happy with it. I should play those guys a bit more often. I feel like whenever I come across them, I never have great money, so it's always a little bit of a gamble. Whereas when I have this much money, it's just a no-brainer to play those. I definitely would like a speed upgrade right now. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely suffering with my current speed. That's very nice. That solves some issues. Our HP has been in the red for not not for a bit too long, and that's sorted us out a bit. That has. Golden cluster there. Oh, can you not blow those up? Okay, that didn't work the way I wanted it to at all. This is a golden item, which means I have to take it. Golden Big Fan. Do you know what? Golden Big Fan is not bad at all. It, it has a very, very thick radius at blocking shots. Um, and having two of them means I'm going to be blocking shots all the goddamn time. This guy gives me Midas Touch. I'm going to suck it. He didn't. Yeah, but we have money galore right now. Absolutely money galore. Unfortunately, we are going to have to give away them two soul hearts we just picked up to go to the mausoleum, which is not great. 
like a bit more HP before we do that, but we've only got a few rooms to get it, so I doubt that's going to happen. Good, solves that issue. Gives us a good amount of spiders as well. These guys will also give us a good amount of spiders. Oh, fuck me, you're coming at me fast. I really like that glowing thing that these guys do. Oh, a key! Thank you so much. Oh, bollocks. Clutch is like my worst boss by far. I'm really, really bad at Clutch. He's also very, very, like, like he's a lot easier if you have bombs, and I don't have bombs. But do you see how much I'm fucking this up right now? It's just because he's so fucking hard to hit. There's so much shit in the way. And he leaves fires about. It's just, he's just such a difficult boss. Like, even the fucking fires are shooting at us. The fire is shooting at us. Wakes all these bastards up again. I think we're good. Yeah, we're on, we're on last phase now. Last phase definitely gets a lot easier. Not easy, but a lot easier because there's just less stuff in the way. Right, take whatever this is. Uh, we got ourselves. Enemies have a 50% chance to drop vanishing coins when they die, and it's gold as well, so I'll take that. Okay, going down to this floor with 2 HP. Not my favourite, I'll, I'll admit, not my favourite. Ooh, now this is an opportunity to get some good stuff. Please give me a bunch of soul hearts, please. Fuck you. <laughs> it blew up so fast. Oh, how dare you. How dare you. God damn. This game is brutal sometimes. Yeah, certainly there is a chance that we do die here. I can't believe we've got enemies that have a 30% chance to drop a vanishing coin. That's pretty amazing. We are already high rollers. And we're about to be even higher of a roller. Fuck me, that's a... That's a very, very awkward shot to uh, avoid there. Keep going this way, I think. Still no speed upgrade either. My speed is, is getting me down a little bit. Just a single stone chest. I don't think it's really worth the fight. What's the deal here? How do I how do I get Where's the moon one? How do I get over there? There's, I'm sure there's some secret in here that I'm missing. Really? Really? Get this guy again? Fuck y'all. I don't need your money. I have so much money coming in. I'm just going to steal that up. Play creep lasts twice as long. That'd be really good if we have Mysterious Liquid. God damn it. We had that earlier. Sad to see it go. Don't know how you get uh, how you activate this moon one there. There's got to be some, some trick to that, but I don't understand it. I mean, Mausoleum is full of, like, little secrets and stuff. So it's certainly plausible. But guy is dead. Oh, joyous day of days, a soul heart. Oh my god, that's made me feel way safer. Good, 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 good. How many blue tiers are we firing now? We're firing mostly blue tiers at this point. Good stuff. This guy's going to be kind of hard to hit. Now that's a lot of extra coins right there, right there. We get ourselves Stranger Tractor two times. Soul Cleaver's good. I'm gonna go for the two times Stranger Tractor, why the hell not? And I can leave one behind and suck it up. I don't think having two of them does much. There, 
Alright, we go. I really like these extra batteries. I just wish they were a bit more common. These unique batteries seem so rare, and they're really cool. It'd be nice if you just had a random chance to replace normal batteries. I think we are very near. We must be at like 80 or 90% now. Chance to fire our blue tiers. At that, at that point, we can trade away Chasm. We, don't, we no longer need the active anymore. Doesn't do anything after that point. Big old stack of hearts there. <coughs> no thank you, no thank you. Do you know what? I'm not even doing this room. I can be asked. It's the wrong way. Get me out of there. Give me, give me that coin. Oh, interesting room. Two black balls. You gotta deal with while dealing with a guy blocking damage. I like it. We've got such a spider army going on right now. If we can keep this up and not lose them all, the boss is going to get absolutely demolished. Oh, bollocks. This is rough as fuck. What is this room? What the fuck is this room? I still have to kill her as well. That was stupid. I lost all my goddamn spiders. That was a rough ass room, that was. At least we got some good spiders back. Just the siren, not so bad. Oh god, I didn't. I wasn't expecting you to do that. I don't know why. HP up, please. That does give us a black heart, so I would definitely take it. Will it give us half, though? Why? Do I want the spicy key? Do I have enough keys? I don't know. Ugh. She's gonna use a bomb. I can't be ass fucking around with these teleporters. Just let me kill him. Thank you. I can't even be asked messing around. Oh, I didn't even go back and suck up Stranger Tractor. Oh, no, I did, I did, I did, I did. I got, I got the battery, didn't I? Forgot about that. Would I take nine lives here? Probably. Probably a good idea. Didn't even get the chance. Honestly, this might actually be better now than the current... Like, the, the Golden Tooth thing is really good, but we just don't need money at this point. It's our last shot. I'd rather be able to see further into unexplored rooms. Pretty helpful, that. Carved Magician. Reasonably valuable. Oh, these guys are firing shots like fucking crazy. Shots everywhere. That little coin thing in the middle is creating a bunch of crap. This has been like a proper Judas run, hasn't it? Really high damage, really low health, pretty much the entire time. Very, very on theme for Judas. that. He wants, wait, excuse me, it didn't reach all the way. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's not how that's meant to work. Excuse me. I'm gonna take a gamble here. Can I do this? I can indeed. I sucked it up. Good. <gasps> a speed up. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm gonna say it. We're now on... Are we on 100% yet? We are not. We are on 9... Actually, no, I think we might be on 100%. Either that, that we're on 90 now. Get out of here. 
the room I'd very much like to quickly escape from, but ain't gonna happen. Multiplying guys can be a little bit problematic. God damn it, I got feared at the worst time. Item room, where art thou? Bollocks to you, Bishop boys. Chasm's ready again. My light keeps flickering. I don't know what's going on with that. It's annoying. Stop flickering, goddamn light. This was wholeheartedly the wrong way, sadly. Whip me. Ah. <sighs> God damn it. Didn't have to go through all this bullshit. Oh, an extra key, yay. <laughs> it's always funny when you have skeleton key and you're like, you just keep getting key drops. It's like, God damn it. On the runs that I need keys desperately, you're not going to give me any. But then on a run where I have like infinite keys, it's all, all, all you're going to give me. The golden wow factor, which I'm not super happy about. Um, I'm just going to suck them all up. Does that suck all of them up? I think it did. Either way. That puts, guaranteed puts us on 100% now. Which I am pretty happy with. Right. Let's go. This has been a long episode. It's been a long ass episode. It is what it is though. Just due to my earlier failures. I've got to put in a good show. Ooh. Um, temper Tantrum is actually not bad. Not bad at all. Basically, 25% chance on hit to enter Berserk mode. Any enemy we kill while in Berserk mode... I, don't, I just didn't even register that thing is coming at me. Anything we kill while in Berserk mode has a chance to be erased. It's pretty cool. Right. Boss time. Big old boss time. We missed out on boss rush here, but that's fine. We've already done boss rush with character. Regular old Judas. Nice one. You got Soul Heart there as well. Of course, take the damage up here. See what we can get done against the heart. Shan't be too bad. Amount of damage we're doing. We just gotta not get hit twice. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. This attack's harder than I thought remember it being. What do I do? I don't remember this attack at all. Okay, we just about did that. Holy shit. Just about did that. Stressed me out. I stood in like a really bad spot for that. This is like, yeah, this is such a low health run, this is. Such a low HP run. It is a bit scary. Right, whereabouts are we going? Probably up this way. Ooh, this room could be good. Oh god, these jumpy guys. They can hit me so easily. Ooh. Ah, bugger, really? I was really hoping for the uh, payout where it gives you a bunch of soul hearts. I was not so lucky. Excuse me. Oh, bollocks. Oh no! I fucking died to the goddamn poison. Fucking hell. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that one nonetheless. That was a risky run. Had a lot of fun with it either way. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.